नाउ चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन न्यूक्लियाई सी इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम एंड इन दैट वी डिस्कस दिस थिंग ऑलमोस्ट एंटायर मास 99.9 परसेंट मास ऑफ द एटम इज कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड इन द स्मॉल टाइनी रीजियन एट द सेंटर विच इज नोन एज न्यूक्लियस और न्यूक्लियाई as well as the entire positive charge of the atom is also concentrated in nucleus okay then scientist thought like this whether nuclei have internal structure like atom so in that particular direction when scientist carried out detail studies then they came to know about so many things related to the structure of nuclei and in this particular chapter we'll discuss something about the structure of a nuclei means about the constituent particles in the nuclei as well as the interactions between those constituent particles now the atomic mass that is very 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 small one okay now here we use another unit to represent the mass at atomic or nuclei level and that particular unit which we use that is called atomic mass unit it is represented by small u and see its definition so atomic mass unit or one u mass that is the mass equal to 1/12th part of mass of carbon atom now see we know mass of carbon atom that is 1.992647 into 10 raised to minus 26 kg now take 1/12th part of it it implies that divide this mass by 12 so we will get 1 u mass 1 u mass that is mass of carbon 12 atom divided by 12 so we will get 1.992647 into 10 raised to minus 26 by 12 and now finally will get 1 u that is 1.660539 into 10 raised to minus 27 kg this is 1 u mass it is known as atomic mass unit so this one is the convenient unit to represent mass at atomic and nucleus level and in nature we can observe this thing if we take the mass of the lightest nuclei that is hydrogen so the mass of hydrogen atom if we consider then for so many elements the masses in terms of u are in the integer multiple of the mass of hydrogen atom no doubt some exceptions are there okay so here if we think about the periodic table then in that we can observe this thing some elements have the species for which the chemical properties are same means they lie at the same place they occupy the same place in periodic table but their masses are different one so this type of species of the element are known as isotopes are known as isotopes even the lightest one hydrogen also have isotopes like deuterium tritium like that okay and in the formation of that particular element the composition of these isotopes are different one suppose we take one simple example of chlorine now 
mass of chlorine that is 35.46 u it is not in the integer multiple of mass of hydrogen atom but chlorine have two isotopes so see these two isotopes of chlorine are with a different composition in the formation of chlorine see suppose we think about its two isotopes then one isotope have the mass that is 34.98 u and another one have the mass 36.98 u but in the composition of chlorine the isotope with mass 34.98 u that is 75.4% and the isotope with mass 36.98 u that is 24.6% so we can say these are the compositions of isotopes in the element so if we calculate the average mass of chlorine by taking the compositions of this isotopes then we can write 75.4% means 75.4 by 100 into 34.98 u plus 24.6 percentage means by 100 into 36.98 u so resultantly we can write 75.4 into 34.98 plus 24.6 into 36.98 by 100 and we'll get 35.47 u and that is the atomic mass of chlorine clear so in this way the elements have the compositions of isotopes in the formation of it clear to all of you now see here when we represent any element at that time first we think about its atomic number which is represented by symbol z that represent the number of protons in the nucleus or we can say number of electrons in the atom because atom is electrically neutral so obviously the number of protons and number of electrons will be identical one but see here if we think about the isotopes of hydrogen right hydrogen deuterium tritium so here all have one proton in the nucleus but if we think about the masses of all these three then masses are in the ratios 1 raised to 2 raised to 3 only one electron is there mass of electron that is very 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 small it is 0.0055 u okay so it is very less compared to mass of proton and therefore we say almost entire mass that is concentrated in the nucleus if we take the mass of proton then mass of proton that is 1.00727u and mass of electron that is 0.0055u okay but if we think about the mass of hydrogen to deuterium to tritium then it is in the ratio 1 raised to 2 raised to 3 clear it implies that definitely some other electrically neutral 
particle is there in the nucleus. Scientist Chadwick performed the experiments related to the bombardment of alpha particle on the beryllium. And he studied about the emission of the neutral radiations. But if we think about the energy of those emitted neutral radiations, then in those days it was termed as photons. But if we carry out the calculations related to the energies emitted here and the obtained energies were not matched. So by using law of conservation of energy as well as law of conservation of momentum, Chadwick represented this thing finally. This emission that is nothing but of neutral particle. And that particular neutral particle was named as neutron. And for this discovery of neutron, Chadwick got Nobel Prize. Okay. So mass of neutron that is very close to mass of proton. It is slightly heavier than proton. Mass of neutron that is 1.00866 U. Okay. So in terms of kilogram, if we take mass of proton, then that is 1.67262 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram. And for neutron, it is 1.6749 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram. Okay. So discovery of neutron was made. So then it was clear now in nucleus protons which are electrically charged, which possess positive charge and neutrons, which are electrically neutral resides in the nucleus. So we can say these are the constituent particles of nuclei. Clear to all of you? Now how the nuclei of any element is represented? See, the atomic number that is Z that gives you the number of protons in the nucleus and capital A that we use for atomic mass number that gives you the total number of nucleons. It implies that the number of protons plus number of neutrons in the nucleus. So if you take A minus Z, then that will give you the number of neutrons in the nucleus. Now, how symbolically the nuclei of any element is represented? So, see here, this X, that is the symbol of the element as per periodic table, as per periodic table. For hydrogen here, we have to write H for carbon, C for helium, HE, like that. Okay. Then Z and A that we have to represent as written on the board here. Either you can represent the element nuclei symbolically as Z, X, A in this manner or Z, X, A in this manner. Clear? We already discussed Z represent atomic number that is nothing but the number of proton in the nucleus. We are studying about nuclei, so we are interested in number of protons. Otherwise, it will give you number of electrons also. In chemistry majority, you use this symbol for number of electrons also. Clear? And a that is the total number of nucleons that is nothing but the number of protons plus number of neutrons and that is atomic mass or atomic mass number. And if we take A minus Z 
that is capital N, it is number of neutrons in the nucleus. So in this manner, the nuclei of any element is represented. Clear to all of you? See, for elements, if Z that is the same one, but atomic mass that is different one, then obviously N will be different one. Then those are known as isotopes of elements. Okay. Then if for the species of any element, Z is different, A that is same one, obviously N will be different one, then are called isobars. Now, if Z is different one, A is different one, but number of neutrons that is same one, then it is called isotons. And if Z, A and N all are same one, but radioactive properties are different one, then those elements are known as isomers. You have to remember this thing because they can ask you the short question like this. They will give you the different elements, four, five, six elements. And then they can ask you about the pair of isotopes or pair of isobars or pair of isotons in the given elements. Like that, they can ask you the question. Clear to all of you?